Aloha, everyone. Jody Mountain here with Lineage of Light on the island of Maui with more of the Ancient Wisdom series. It seems these days we are waiting for a lot of things. We're waiting for the pandemic to be over. We're waiting to go back to work, some of us. We are waiting to be able to travel or resume our life as normal, normal. And I wanted to offer the insight from ancient wisdom, which has to do with becoming aligned with the present moment. And the only way we can do that is to just be here right now. And that in this moment right now, in this present moment is all the opportunity that we need to transmute and transform the resonance that we operate in. So that resonance doesn't have anything to do with the circumstances of our lives. And it has everything to do with the way we meet this moment. Every moment is an opportunity. It's like a doorway. So if we're, for instance, waiting for this world to change, waiting for people to become more compassionate, waiting for all of the hungry people to be fed, if we're waiting for um, the resources to be spread throughout the earth and to assist in the environment, um, we're waiting for that ideal world, we're waiting for a better world. And instead of waiting, what this work or this pathway might offer is to meet this moment right now with everything that we perceive that it is. So we can meet this moment right now with all of our discontent, with all of our fear, with all of our uh, hope, with all of our anger. And even with all of that, meeting the moment and all of those family members within a wider space of life itself. And as we meet these family members and begin to move with them, to allow them to speak, we, I don't wanna say you will find, but I have found um, that that is like an alchemy. That is like a, an ignition for catalyzing, metabolizing more power, I don't mean power over something, I just mean um, power to act, power to be visionary, um, power to, to ignite. And that is the only way that I see that this world is going to change, is that if we each meet this moment as fully as we can, with all of our hopes and dreams, all of our fears and regrets, uh, whatever is arising right now, um, including our desire for a better world, um, and use the power of this moment, use the alignment of this moment to propel us forward into the next moment. And we can only do that right now. We can't, sitting here and thinking about how I wish it would be better, how I wish it wasn't as bad as it was, isn't really going to do anything except kind of push and pull and tug on my heart. And it's going, that pushing and pulling and tugging also creates a frequency. And that creates a frequency of frustration and kind of like a downward spiral because we're bashing our head against a wall of what cannot change. What cannot change is the past. Uh, what cannot change is our frustration about the future unless we land in the present moment exactly as it is, as we are right now and use that as, um, meet that as an opportunity. The present moment is the only place and time that we get to experience our entire life force because all of our life force is only here now. Our life force 
can be a memory in the past, it can be a projection into the future, but it's actual electricity, it's actual existence, it's actual vibration, it's actual expression is only here now. So in the paradigm of this ancient work, I would encourage you and me and everyone to land more and more in the present moment, whether we are out of the pandemic, whether we're still in the pandemic, whether um, the political situation is as you like it or it isn't. Where are you? Where are you in the middle of all that? Where am I in the middle of all that? Where is all this electricity and passion and um, action and attention? And if we can allow ourselves to land in the midst of all that, to allow all of that to ignite right now, then we have, I think, a huge potential to start to embody this new world. And so that this world, this new earth that, that is potentially arising, all the shifts and changes and transformations we're all going through, and as a society and as a world, we seem to be going through, all of that can pour through us and out into the world. That's where I see the real transformation happening. That's where I see the new earth arising, is that it is arising out of each of our embodiments. And as we start to embody that, we ground that that new way of being, that more present way of being, that more um, aligned way of being. And we start to behave that way more and more in our daily lives. And then if more and more of us do it, here we are, here we will find ourselves in a new earth. And um, yeah, all of that coming from ancient wisdom. And I'm sure there are other paradigms that are also pointing in that same direction. Gandhi's beautiful words, you know, be the change that you want to see in the world. That wisdom passing through each of us, what magic that would be. Okay, everyone, that is my little drop in for today. And um, if you want to learn more about this work, Keala Hoku, The Pathway to the Stars, you can check out the links below at Lineage of Light Online School and lineageoflight.com. Um, there's an upcoming retreat, so check lineageoflight.com if you'd like to participate in a live retreat um, and learn more and experience more rather than learn more. Okay, guys, thank you for joining today. Aloha. <laughs>